Okay, so here we are at the Falcon 9 rocket, you know, up near uh, the rocket engines, okay, right there, and then you have another one up by the uh, grid fence. UAPs going by these grid fence. I mean, and look, just these are so massive, thick, heavy. All right, guys, this is big time historic news, okay? For the second time in human history, uh, we've discovered an interstellar object coming from another solar system entering our solar system, hit the Pacific Ocean, and now we have retrieved fragments from this object. Now, I don't, I, you know, I don't want to call it a craft, okay? Uh, Professor Lowe put together a team of really gifted, talented, smart people. Uh, $1.5 million got on the Silver Star vessel, put a magnetic sled behind it to pick up these, um, these fragments from this interstellar object, okay? So, I mean, this is big time, guys. Like I said, this is the second time that I know of uh, that this has happened. Now, at the end of the video, we're going to break down, uh, you know, all the photographic evidence that we have so far. And I'm going to tell you guys where you can follow Professor Loeb, you know, to uh, just kind of keep in touch with this historic story. I mean, I I'm so excited. I can't even come up with the words, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick summary of, you know, what we're, what we're, what we're dealing with here. I mean, guys, I am so excited about this. I mean, this is huge. Okay. This isn't blinking little lights in the sky or, you know, fake little triangles or whatever. This is tangible evidence, proof and evidence of something entering our solar system from another solar system. Uh, and, and they, they can't explain it as of yet. Yet. Now, hopefully there won't be a cover up and we get the truth about this. You know, I have uh, a lot of faith and confidence in Professor Loeb. So we'll see. So, all right, guys, let's get to it. Here we go. Nocturnal news. I have an incredible story for you guys today. Uh, first of all, please like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Here we go. Okay, interstellar space debris or or craft, possibly. Okay, Professor Loeb. We're going to call him that for now. We'll get to his his full name here in a little bit. Professor Loeb has just completed a 1.5 million with an M, ladies and gentlemen, a million dollar expedition. Why can't I get that kind of money? Anyway, searching for signs of a mysterious meteor dubbed IM-1. Now, you guys may have heard of that. I don't know. Uh, IM-1. That crashed off the coast of New Guinea in 2014. Now, I think I've talked about this on Nocturnal News, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Uh, and is believed to have come from interstellar space, meaning... It didn't originate here. Uh, this is a an unknown craft entering our solar system. Uh, it goes on to say he oversaw a team of deep sea explorers who found fifty. 50, wow, and more, in fact, uh, we'll get to that too, uh, spirals, okay, spears of molten droplets using a magnetic sled. I mean, how cool is that? Using a magnetic sled pulled behind this vessel. Um, using a, ma a magnetic sled that was dropped from the expedition vessel named the Silver Star. And a photo of that vessel, boom right there okay the silver star underneath the surface of the ocean he believes the tiny objects about half a millimeter in size and now we know uh, they range in all, all different sizes um, are most likely made from a steel titanium alloy that is much stronger than the iron found in regular meteors now you guys remember was it um i want to say the um, amuamua okay the other interstellar object that uh professor Loeb brought to our attention okay let's fast forward just a little bit here guys and then we'll get to the article and then uh some other cool stuff at the end we'll we'll an analyze the photos and you know just give you all the details that i have okay his quest began in 2019 when im1 caught the attention of his research team as they as they combed nasa's open source catalog of meters for irregular space rock detected from 
the Earth, okay? So basically, you guys know, NASA, okay, they keep track of all these meteors and all these different things out there in space, and he went through their catalog and found something irregular, meaning um, it was going too fast to be in our solar system, number one. Number two, uh, NASA was trying to hide it, okay? Tipped off by the, D the DOD, in fact, okay? So, uh, in fact... In 2019, Le Le Loeb, okay, sorry, Loeb, <laughs> identified the meteor's interstellar origin in a paper, and I'll show you guys the paper he co-wrote with Harvard undergraduate student Amir Sar Saraj, okay, sorry, I know I butchered that name, three years later. Uh, three years later, U.S. Space Command further confirmed in a 2022 letter to NASA that the object deemed interstellar meteor IM-1 came from an another solar system so basically guys this is um, a visitor from out of town it did not originate in our solar system uh, of course, NASA uh, was aware of this object. Uh, it hit the, the Pacific Ocean, and uh, they've been tracking it since 2014, and now they, they put this magnet, magnetic sled, uh, very cool, kind of being towed behind the vessel, so the, the meteors, or the, the particles, rather, would attach to the sled, and then they brought them up to the vessel, and, uh, and now we have the proof. Okay, the object was tougher than all 200 172 other space rocks recorded in the same NASA catalog. Uh, it was an outlier of material strength, Professor Loeb told The Independent. I'm reading a little bit of this Independent article here. So in other words, the meteor was moving faster than anything in our solar system, meaning it's from another solar system. It did not originate from our solar system. Uh, he gave the analogy of one of our earlier space programs like the Apollo program leaving behind. Now, guys, we know this, okay? Leaving behind space junk, right? Or these different things that they, you know, eject off their, their spacecraft or space debris from one of our rockets or lost spacecraft and then leaving our solar system, making its way to another solar system instead of just burning up into the Earth's atmosphere, and that's what we have here. Uh, they know it's irrefutable that this came from another solar system. So again, the object was moving faster than any known object in our solar system. To put it in layman's terms, like I said earlier, uh, we kind of have a galactic speed limit. So NASA knew this was something from out of town. Okay, some uh, some visitors, right? Some out of towners. Um, they believe this craft left another solar system and traveled for millions and millions of years to get to our solar system and eventually crashed into the Pacific Ocean in 2014. They also said the meteor right is believed to be about the size of a basketball okay before slamming into the uh, pacific ocean and most importantly they think this is just a fragment of a larger object now uh professor Loeb said they're going to go back and study all the video um you know that they, they might be able to see something on the ocean floor or something uh you know just something else some other anomaly that they may have missed, you know, the first go around. Okay, so the professor and his team are going to study hours and hours of the film to see if they can locate any other objects. And according to him, they haven't even gone through all the debris that they have discovered so far. I mean, this is amazing, guys. So, you know, look, I, I think, in my opinion, I think it's a little bit too early to say that it's a spacecraft or something like that. But again, unknown origins. Um, we don't really know what it is. We know it came from another solar system, and that is incredibly rare. I mean, just on a scientific level, it's incredibly rare. Uh, incredibly rare. Uh, Loeb, known as the alien hunter of Harvard, according to the Independent, uh, is a member of the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology and leads the Galileo Project, which, you know, we've talked about uh, that here on Nocturnal News. Uh, which ser searches for physical examples of alien of aliens and their technology. He's reportedly said that Amuamua, the first interstellar object found passing through our solar system, could be another example of alien tech, as detailed in his book Extraterrestrial: The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth. Okay, so let's get to the article, and then at the end we'll kind of analyze these photos. So here we go. 
All right, so in closing, I want to give you everything I have, all the info, all the details I have. So there's an app. It's free. It's called Medium, and that's where you can find all the updates uh, from uh, Professor Loeb, Harvard University. Okay, and that's what you're seeing on the right there. Now, uh, as I'm making this video, I've been editing this video for a couple of days. New info is coming out. Breaking news is coming out. All of these amazing details are coming out but I don't have time to include them so maybe we'll do a follow-up video so uh, just go to your Apple store or your Android store whatever what is it Play Store I forget what they call it on Android uh, and, and download a medium and type in Avi Loeb Professor Loeb and you'll find all the pictures photographs the um, the analysis to what the these are uh, these interstellar objects and and just you know let me just you know say this how freaking cool is this, right? You are looking at something from another solar system. This is an alien visitor, uh, and it's just so freaking cool. Um, you know, like I said uh, earlier, I've never been so excited to cover a topic. I mean, this is just amazing to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a space nerd. I don't know. But here's the little vials right here. Um, this is just another sample. And remember, they have hundreds, probably thousands of samples that they collected off this magnetic sled that they pulled behind the Silver Star vessel. So, you know, new information, new details are coming out every day, every hour, and that's how you follow it on Medium. Now, of course, mainstream media, they're going to report some of this, but, you know, if you want the deep dives and all the good stuff, you can come here to Nocturnal News because I absolutely will do a follow-up video on this because, I mean, again, this is just incredible. Uh, here's, here's a photograph of of Professor Loeb right there, you know, sifting through all of the debris in order to find these little fragments. Now, remember these pictures you're looking at, these are tiny fragments, okay? Um, and they said, you know, when this hit the, the Pacific Ocean, it was about the size of a basketball. And here's the course right here they got from the DOD from NASA right there when they're pulling the sled. That's what that is. And of course, you guys can all uh, are also follow uh, Mr. Loeb at the Galileo Project. Okay, again, amazing stuff over there as well. Um, yeah, and these are other fragments right here, and I think right here is a photograph from uh, under, you know, under the Silver Star, and right here, the Department of Defense, this is the uh, mem memorandum um, that discusses this particular incident and uh just gives further details right there so that's about all i have guys so look what i'm gonna do is i'll make a follow-up video to this but i have a little bonus video for you guys here at the end so thank you for watching and please this took a lot of work so leave a comment below and we'll see you on the next one okay so here we are at the falcon 9 rocket now there's two cameras on the rocket typically two cameras on the first stage okay you have one mounted somewhere back here um you know by these uh rocket engines one two three four five one i think those are the merlins right there i don't know this is an older rocket right here okay then you have another one typically up front where the uh, where the grid fins are Okay, so, you know, when we're having this, this debate about, you know, these anomalies seen when this Falcon 9 rocket here is coming back down to Earth, you know, the ice is coming from this way and that way. Uh, I just want to show you guys where the cameras are. Again, both cameras, one of them, you know, up near uh, the rocket engines, okay, right there, and then you have another one up by the uh, grid fins okay so we'll have a look up here whoo it is hot uh i think it's about 107 today in texas something like that like my phone is gonna overheat but yeah these are the grid fins right here and we always see uh you know these uaps going by these grid fins. I mean, and look, just these are so massive, thick, heavy, uh, just just enormous. Um, I would say that's probably the size of, of a hood on a small car, these grid fins. But again, typically two cameras, okay? And then up front here, 
is where you'll have like the dragon capsule or the second stage or whatever it is uh, you know mounted on right here up front but again you have two cameras typically Look how big that is I mean that's probably as big as a I don't know a beach ball like I said it's hard to tell uh, in this video but you know I just wanted to come here and show you guys an up-close video of this Falcon 9 rocket it's really cool we'll get up close and personal here I mean look at this stuff guys how cool is that and all of this dirt and muck you see and this damage on the rocket uh, that was when, or from when it flew in space. So that's why I like to see this. They didn't clean it or nothing like that. Again, I mean, this is my hand, okay? Y you see how big these, these grid fins are here. They're, they're just huge. Ugh, trying to move it. <laughs> it's like moving a mountain. But yeah, we'll go up front here and have a look at the uh, at the rocket engines. And that's where the uh, Saturn V is over there, by the way, that took us to the moon. And of course, you have mission control right there. The Saturn V rocket is there, space shuttle over there. You guys know the drill. But I wanna go back here and we'll have a look at this this engine see no one is out here right now because it's so damn hot <clears throat> and i think this is so awesome how these you know detract or whatever and then uh this thing lands you know standing upright it's just so crazy when you're here looking at it here we'll get a, a good view of these rocket engines let me get out of the sun i mean look at this guys I mean, just everything on this is so big and massive and bulky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I believe those are the Merlin engines there. Let me zoom in. I, I mean, I can't even see my, my camera. It's so bright out here from the sun. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a up close look. Um, again, you know, you have two cameras. Typically, now that, that's according to the SpaceX website, and uh, they're always pointed down towards the the rocket engine. So, yeah, kind of cool.